Hey guys, how about a fun, cute armadillo? Now, um, where I live, you see them every now and then, not very often, and sadly, you usually see them right on the side of the road, but I thought, why not draw one? How often do you draw an armadillo? You probably don't know how. So I am gonna walk you through it step by step. Grab some paper, something to draw with, maybe a permanent marker to trace with, and of course, something to color with, and come back and join me. All right, guys, we are gonna start with this armadillo. <laughs> some people say armadillo's head. And um, he kind of has the head of a mouse. Ugh, real ones. Pictures of one or drawings of ones are cute. Real ones, ugh, give me the heebie jeebies. But they kind of had the head of a mouse. So um, let's think about this. His body is going to be the biggest part. Then we got to have enough room for a head. So I am thinking, and the body, let's see, the body will be about that tall. So the head will be about there. So, let's get this started. There. Okay, so it's a curve line down, then it kind of looks like a C, then it continues to curve, and it kind of goes up a little, right? Now, for the ear, we're going to do a curve connect. And we're going to do a curve connect, just like that. Now, and this ear's on the other side. That's why we don't draw the whole ear, because it's on the other side of the head, right? Now we got to give it a mouth. Why not make it smiling? It's happy. Okay, and then how about an eye? And you guys draw your eye however you want to because I know you have a special way of doing things. So y'all just do your little eye how you want to. And there's my little nose. Kind of looks like a seven fell over backwards. <laughs> okay. Now for that shell. Okay. Um, take a deep breath. <sighs> Just go with it. You're using a pencil. You oopsie it. You can erase. I oopsie it. I oopsie it. <laughs> and then I just have to figure out how to fix it. Okay, so we're going to do a big curve. Okay, so it's a big frowny face curve that straightens up a little bit right there. And then right here, let's bring that ear, ear in just a little. And we're going to come down and curve around like that. And then we'll scoop down and then kind of come back up to the body. Okay? So, very lazy C right here. Scoop down like a smile. Scoop up and then slide down gently to the other end okay now for his little legs we are going to do two diagonals two more diagonals that are a little longer two diagonals that are a little shorter two more diagonals that are a little longer Okay, so the short ones are going to be like they're on the other side of the body because this is like the profile. We're seeing the side of the armadillo. So these little legs are on that side, just like you can't see all of this arm because it's on that side of the body. These little legs are on this side, like you can see all of this arm. Okay, then we're going to connect, connect, connect connect and then why not add some zigzag claws okay zigzag claws just like that okay now shame on me I did not leave enough room for a tail 
but the tail would come down and then curve back around just like that, okay? So it curves down like a backward C, curves back around, almost has a crescent moon feel without the top of the crescent moon, right? And then we've got to do some curve lines on the tail. And his body, this part is like a shell, a tough shell that's meant to keep it safe and protected. So we are gonna do curve, curve. My lines are further apart at the top and closer together at the bottom. And we'll just keep it going just like that. Then if we wanted to, we could put some style on our armadillo. Like maybe I'll make some sideways, kind of look like triangles. Just like that. And maybe we have some polka dots on our armadillo. Kind of represents some texture, right? We'll do it in between on here. And maybe we should add some polka dots back here just to kind of match the polka dots up front. And boop, just like that. Now, they have a little bit of armor on their forehead that's also gonna have kind of these triangle type lines. Let me show you up close. So it looks sort of like scales to also protect our, protect our armadillo, keep it safe from predators, things that might want to eat it or take it. Now, most of the time, you see armadillos in the dirt. So I'm gonna draw some ground just like that because we don't want our armadillo just floating around in the air. Um, so I drew some kind of rough looking ground that might be like some dirt, okay? Um, and then we'll think about the rest of our background here in a bit. Okay, so I was thinking I want to do some marker and some crayon. And you do you. You do whatever you want. And I was also thinking, let's see, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Okay, what if we make a rainbow armadillo? So the front part of my armadillo might, I know there's no pink in a rainbow, but I needed one more bonus color, so I chose pink. I like pink. Then we could color in our little spots, maybe, just like this. There we go. Awesome sauce. Boop, ba -doo, boop, 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 boo. It's not Christmas time, but I got this song in my head. <laughs> okay, to make a thicker line, you want to use the side of the marker. To make a thinner line, you can use the tip of the marker, and that will help you. So, the first color, the first real color in our rainbow. I would go with red to make a nice thick outline. And then maybe I want to just go ahead and color in the triangles just like I colored in the polka dots, right? Why not? There we go. Next in our rainbow order would be orange. So, We'll go down like that. 
There we go. And then I'll just go ahead and color in these triangles as well. And try to stay in the line, slow and steady, back and forth with your coloring. And how about yellow? There we go. And I don't know how noticeable the yellow marker will be against the yellow crayon, but we will find out. And then green, red, orange, yellow, green. Outline, outline, blue, there we go, outline, oh my goodness, me and this board. Do not get along really great, do we? This thing is always wiggling on me. Maybe I'm pushing too hard. Fill in carefully. And then how about some purple? Outline. Outline. Fill in. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we'll start it again. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. And purple. Oh man, I should have left all these colors out, huh? Red. Orange. Yellow. I wish you could see my little babies right now. My puppies are sleeping, both of them right here. Right by each other. You'll probably hear one snore in here in a minute. Since they're pugs, they like to snore. Green, blue, and purple. Now, I wish I had a peach marker, but I don't. So, I'm gonna use a brown marker. Now, if you wanna keep it a little bit more real, their shells I believe are like a tannish color and their skin is like a peachy color but because it's art class I thought let's make it artsy right why not there we go and I'll just color in his toenails. I'm using the very tip of my brown so it makes a small marker line, small color line, and just get it all colored in. The very tips. Tips of the toes. Okay. My armadillo might have a green iris in its eye. And then do the rest of it. Just leave it white maybe. There we go. Oh, and we said this was going to be brown down here, didn't we? Some brown dirt. Maybe kind of rough up the dirt a little bit around their feet. Like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to use peach to color in my armadillo. And you can use as much muscle as you want or as little muscle as you want. Now I could be totally wrong and I could just be assuming. I probably should have done a little research first, but 
armadillos, I know you see more of them the further south you go. So like in Texas, they have armadillos and they like the heat. So probably the further west you go as well. There we go. Okay. Then got to do some pink. And I can just color right over my marker instead of trying to color around it because the crayon is not going to cover up the dark pink marker. The dark pink marker will still show. And red. I always double check my reds because you never know. It could be um, that red violet, that pinky red. So I always double check my markers or my crayons. And orange. What is this one? That's red orange. We want regular orange. That's yellow orange. Do I? Oh, I see it down there. I think I broke it the other day. There it is. There's my regular orange. Oops. Try to keep your coloring going the same direction. So I'm coloring horizontal all the way down because the armadillo kind of curves horizontal like that. How about some yellow? And some green. You could use regular green. I'm just using the yellow green. And blue. There we go. And purple. Awesome. Okay, now we need some dirt, right? Here's my brown. Or we could have done gray like concrete. We tend to see them by the road, which is sad. Okay, now our armadillo is a very happy, safe armadillo. So we need to think about where is our armadillo? Is it in Texas? Is it in New Mexico? Is it in Candyland? I don't know, <laughs> right? It can be wherever you want it to be because this is your artwork and it can have whatever name you want it to have and it can take on whatever identity you want it to take on and personality. What if, guys, I did some grass growing back here, which is a little tricky to draw around. A little tricky to draw around this guy, but we're gonna try. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and color all this in green down here, like grass, to make it a little easier to do up here. And hopefully it doesn't just look like he's on green fire. <laughs> there we go. keep working it so it's like it's got grass in the background it's standing in the dirt and then you can decide is it daytime is it nighttime is it sunsetty time 
Is it a pink sky? I don't know, right? Go. All right. There we go. Okay, then I have, I think I have like a lighter blue. Well, that's just blue. Do I have a lighter blue? Yes. Oh, well, this is blue green. Hmm, huh. maybe we'll just stick with blue. Okay, so now I'm just gonna color soft. That way I can color on top of the green grass. You can't even tell because my blue is softer than my green. clue what to name it but I love it artsy armadillo maybe okay so I hope you enjoyed uh, doing an I draw you draw and of course um, getting to decorate it however you wanted to and name it and come up with a story about it while you're coloring so Thanks so much for spending some time with me. And of course, please share this and subscribe and like and um, all that good stuff. And please send me a picture, leave a comment of your armadillo, a picture of your a picture of your armadillo in the comments, right? I want to see it. So you guys have a great day and I cannot wait to do some more art with you.